Hey guys, this is Tiffany with homesofdaytonabeach.com. I'm down here on the beach today and I wanted to show you guys what's been happening down here. I get a lot of questions from people who are thinking about moving to the area and they want to know what's going on on the beach. So I'm going to show you around, show you what's open, the beach access, and talk about a really awesome app that you can use to monitor all of the beach access and other things here on the beach. So let's go have some fun and take a look. If you are thinking about coming down to the beach for the day, you definitely need to make sure that you're planning out how you're going to gain access to the beach. As you can see behind me, some of the walkovers have been repaired, some are still under repair, or you can always arrive by car. A lot of the beach ramps are open. Um, you can gain access to that information by downloading the Volusia Beach app. It's free to download on Apple or on Android, and it's gonna keep you really up to date about what's happening here on the beach. I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about the Volusia County app that they have for the beaches. I can't show you that on my screen share because I can't download the app to the computer, but I have gone on the Volusia County Services website and there's a ton of information on here that you can pick from. So they've got beach driving and parking passes, They've got a beach map. Uh, there is a spot where you can check out the beach's mobile app. They've got beach rules, beach safety, warning flags. They give you updates on all of the beachfront parks. They also talk a little bit about where the lifeguard stations are, any turtle nests that they might have found, and plenty of other things. So it's a really handy site if you want to check out this site before you make your trip to the beach. While I'm down here at the beach, I also wanted to show you what's going on with the condo scene down here. As you can see, some condos sustained a lot of damage, some not so much. Uh, they are working really hard to rebuild those seawalls and the pool areas. So if you are thinking about purchasing a condo here in the greater Daytona Beach area, make sure to visit me on our website at homesofdaytonabeach.com so we can help you get all of the information that you're going to need to make an informed decision on your purchase. I'm out here in front of local favorite Krabby Joe's, and as you can see, it did sustain a lot of damage from the hurricane, and they are working really, really hard to get it back up and operational. We're really looking forward to be up and running again. But if you are looking for something that is Oceanside, just take a short drive down to Ponce Inlet where you'll find Racing's North Turn, and they are currently open. wanted to point out that if you do want to come down to the beach and relax in the sun for the day, a lot of these beach rental companies are open. Of course, you can always bring your own from home, but if you don't have those, you can come right down here and rent some here on the beach. If you do find yourself wanting to go to the beach for the day, but the tide is high and the beach ramps are closed, you can always come down to one of the beachfront parks that are available here throughout Volusia County. I'm standing out in front of Tornita Avenue Park. It is right down here by Wilbur by the Sea. These are an excellent resource. They're free to park at and you can walk right over to the beach. you want to come out to the beach. I just want you guys to know that we're here, we're open, and we're still having fun here in Daytona Beach. So if you do have any further questions, make sure to visit us on our website at homesofdaytonabeach.com and don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.